cold spring we're having. I know all of you gardeners are anxiously waiting to see some spring flowers. And finally, here's your chance. The Carnegie Museum of Art presents Art in Bloom today through the weekend. And you'll find flower arrangements throughout the galleries complementing specific works of art. And here as the guest speaker for Art in Bloom is Danielle Rollins, lifestyle expert from Atlanta and Tara Safar with the Women's Committee. Thank you both for joining us. Hi, Christine. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, well, Thank welcome you. to Thank Pittsburgh. You. Is this your first time? It is. Wonderful. In from Atlanta, kind of a different kind of town. Tell me a little bit about um, what you do in terms of promoting, entertaining, and, and what your role is. Um, I'm just passionate about people connecting together and taking the time to somewhat pull things in and entertain at home. People behave a little differently in their own homes than they do in a restaurant, and it's a nice way of us to stop celebrate special moments, birthdays, holidays, create traditions, because at the end of your life, you don't look back and think, what was I doing at the grocery store? <laughs> but you do think, what was I doing on my 25th birthday, 30th birthday, Christmas of a certain year? So it's a way of us to create a milestone and have memories for our lives. And do you find that, especially in this digital age, when you know sometimes people barely even talk to each other, that it's even more necessary? Definitely. Sometimes it's good to be unavailable, to turn things off, just to connect with somebody else. But on the other hand, there are so many great things available to us now digitally. Pinterest is a great resource. It has all these beautiful, inspiring photos, but it's not enough just to have photos that are inspiring. Mm -hmm. Take the photo and find a way to recreate it in your own lives. I love that. Well, and make an arrangement and take a photo. <laughs> this is so simple. You do that a lot. <laughs> I do, I do. And you're going to be, I you brought too. her in to talk. Well, yeah. I just sent you a picture. Oh, I was inspired <laughs> by previous lectures right. that we've had. And so this is really about connecting the community to right. art and flowers. Is that right? Well, and I, and I love this event. Art and Bloom is a four-day celebration featuring timeless works of art with beautiful, fresh flower arrangements. It's presented by the Women's Committee of the Carnegie Museum of Art and sponsored by Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. And you know, this is one of my favorite times all year. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at some of the pictures. So explain to people how it works with the art and the flower arrangement. Well, sure. Well, we have this year approximately 30 nonprofit groups, garden clubs, and organizations and florists that are designing pieces, uh, I think 40 pieces to complement the works of art, which enables you to go into the galleries and see the art in an entirely new way. I love so, that picture. I mean, what a different way to interpret that artwork with those flowers. It's not a typical flower arrangement either. No, it isn't. And in, in addition to this visual pal, you have the fragrance. So you're walking through the galleries and it is so overwhelmingly lovely. And I think we're all starved for color this time of year here in Pittsburgh. Oh, especially this spring. <laughs> especially this spring. So if you're a lover of color and fragrance and beauty, this is the time to go to the museum. And there's a lot of different ways, starting with Danielle, uh, well, starting with the party tonight. Tell me about that. That's right. The party tonight, we kick off Skyline After Dark, and Danielle will be attending the party with us this evening, so <laughs> we're, we're thrilled to have her. And tickets are still available, $165 at the door, and the party is sponsored by Icon Lob, and they are creating an urban park space. So the idea is that you go inside and you feel like you're in a park at twilight. So um, stars twinkling, a beautiful array of flowers and trees and shrubbery, and of course, light, light uh, cocktails, light fair and music. Oh, so that sounds wonderful. Beautiful. And then tomorrow you'll be speaking. Tell me, tell us what you'll be talking about at your lecture. Um, I'm going to be doing eight arrangements. I'm going to start them this afternoon and kind of build the mechanics and get all the flowers conditioned. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do some of them a little bit today, but tomorrow I'll finish everything and I'll talk about what inspired me to do the arrangement, whether it was a piece that I would love to do for an entertaining or if it was something I would have in my own home because I do think flowers make us feel better. And I think it's been proven um, that it just, it, it uplifts everybody's spirit. And yeah. having something living in your space takes away the static elements. And so they don't have to be expensive, they don't have to be grand. Um, they can be potted, they can be cut flowers, but it does make us feel better. Well, and you brought an example here today. Show me this one. I did. Um, I love to do things that are reused, reimpurposed, recycled, and I don't like to have things that are a one-time use. Mm -hmm. This is an ice bucket. It's got the nice, nice oh, little cool. scoop thing here. 
Um, and so you could use it a ton of different ways. Not only as an ice bucket, it could have champagne or wine in it, but I'm using it today to put flowers in it, and so I don't mess up my nice little container. Okay, right. Um, I've just put some Oasis bricks on the bottom, just okay. to hold it up, some styrofoam so, bricks okay, to make it higher. Easy, just to um, get it you to can the right always height. fudge anything. That's what I, I love to do. Them or yeah, it's great. Just, just to, to make it, it higher. Yeah. And so the flowers, these are daffodils, which are so perfect for this time of year. They're happy. They're bright. You can cut them out of your own yard. Yeah. They grow back again next year. <laughs> yeah. And so just sticking the little. Um, vase down here and you know, that's sticking it. a little moss around there. It's pretty. I mean, it just adds a bright touch to your house. And it's, it's something so anybody can do. And you just use one big um, pow of color. You said pow. I yes, mean, that's what it yeah. feels like. I yeah. love that. So no matter how cold it is outside, it's beautiful inside. Yeah. And then after her lecture, they tell me what else happens. Well, after the lecture, then there is a buffet luncheon and the opportunity for our visitors to gather and, and wander the galleries and the arrangements take you from gallery to gallery to gallery, so it's really an opportunity to move throughout the museum. Mm -hmm. And then that continues all weekend. People all can weekend come long. see the flowers. That's right, and it's included with museum ad admission. Okay. So um, you pay for your museum ad admission, and you see all of the arrangements. Right. And Danielle, we see you now in uh, Veranda and Southern Living this yes. month. Tell me what you're talking about. Yes, in those. Um, Veranda. There is a feature on my 1928 house in Atlanta, oh, neat. Um, and it's a lovely pictorial spread. I'm very, very tickled with it. And then Southern Living, one of the chapters from the book. Oh, fantastic. Well, here is the book, Soiree, Entertaining with Style. And it, it's really a, a beautiful book, all Thank the pictures. You. Tell us a little bit about what, it, what it's about, the book. When I was looking for books myself mm -hmm. and thinking about doing this one, there's a lot of books that have flower arrangements or there's recipe books or there's table setting books but I wanted to capture the emotional experience that goes into mm -hmm. entertaining and I wanted to give somebody a sort of a picture teaches a thousand words yeah. way of doing something so this is really guidelines and suggestions if you love to cook there's great recipes if you want somebody else to cook they can use the recipes <laughs> but if you want to do takeout and make things look beautiful it's sort of a suggestion of dinner parties that would work. Wonderful. Great ideas. Can't wait to hear you more tomorrow. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Art in Bloom at Carnegie Museum of Art today through Sunday and various events planned each day. Danielle's presentation is tomorrow morning starting at 10 a.m. followed by the buffet luncheon. And for more information you can go online or call the museum at 412-622-3325.